Hi guys, this is my setup. I'm gonna install some RGB LED strips under my desk. These LED strips will be synchronized with Corsair IQ software. And in this video, I'll explain step by step how I did it. The procedure could be difficult if you don't have any knowledge of electronics and wiring. There is also a small chance to damage your PC if you do something wrong, so watch the entire video before starting to follow the instructions. All of this will be possible thanks to the project of the user Legion2, available on GitHub. This project explains how we can program a list of boards to imitate Corsair devices like RGB fan controller and more. Once our PC recognizes the board as Corsair device, we can drive with the board any type of LEDs. For this project we need, first of all, a compatible board. The most common ones like Arduino Uno or Arduino Mega are compatible, but to use them is necessary to follow some extra extraction that allow you to program the serial to USB controller present on this board. A lot of Arduino clones are not compatible since the serial converter is different. For this reason about an Arduino Pro Micro that is very small and allow me to skip this part. This project don't require a lot of pins, so a small board is better because it's easier to hide. I fixed the Arduino on a prototype board and I added some screw terminals. If you want to skip this, you can buy an adapter and buy the board with already soldered headers. It's also possible to do it with a breadboard and DuPont wire jumpers. This is the first step to verify if the system is working. We take an addressable LED strip VS2812B and we connect 5 VDC and ground to the Arduino. With few LEDs we can use the supply from the Arduino, but for more than few we will need an external supply. This could damage your USB if LEDs draw too much current. To program the board we need to install Arduino IDE. When the installation is complete we need to install some libraries. We need to go to Sketch include library, manage libraries, and search for IQ.
After that, we have to install some extra boards. To do that, we go to File, Preferences, Additional Boards Manager. We paste this link that uh, I leave in the description. To complete the installation of additional boards, we go to Tools, Board, Boards Manager and we search for Corsair. We select the right board and the right communication port. Usually the port 1 is embedded in the motherboard, so the right one should be the other one. We can finally load the program to the board. We go to File, Examples, Corsair Lightning Protocol and we select Lighting Node Pro. Now the PC detects our Arduino board as Corsair Lighting Node Pro. In the device setting we can change the output of two different channels. We set the output type as LED strips. Now let's do a better circuit. I choose the right LED strip for me. For the test I used a 144 LED meter strip. <clears throat> but this strip is really too dense. Some meters of this strip could consume a lot of current and generate too much light. I decided to buy a WS2811 12 VDC 60 LED meters strip. These strips had one controller each 3 LEDs. The others that you saw in the test had one internal controller for each LED. I also bought these aluminum profiles. Remember that these aluminum profiles help the LEDs to dissipate the heat so they can last longer. They are not only for the look.
For the power supply unit I chose this old adapter. In the final circuit I want to add a relay to turn off the LEDs. This relay is optional and its only purpose is to prevent the LEDs to stay on if the Arduino suddenly turn off. This uh, plastic box uh, will receive the supply from the wall adapter and the USB from PC. From this box uh, I will supply and drive all the strips. Unfortunately, the supply unit was broken, so for now I'll use this bench power supply. I set the strip to white with max brightness. This is the max current that the strips can draw. I keep the strips in static white and I measure the voltage at the end of the strip. 